Assassin's Creed Origins comes out later this week. We'll have our review in the early hours of Thursday morning. In the meantime, here is a 30 minute pre-review in which you'll see just a few of the early quests. Hello, my name is Colin Campbell. I'm with Polygon. I spent about 50 hours last week playing Assassin's Creed Origins. Frankly, I spent a lot of time doing this, sneaking up on people and putting them out of action. Assassin's Creed, the series, has always been about climbing and killing, or at least disabling, your enemies. The main character is a fellow called Bayek. He's a Medjai, which is a kind of ancient world cop, but he's also more than that. He's a kind of community advisor, a protector of the people. Sometimes he's a spy and sometimes he's a government agent. In short, he's a very useful fellow. His uses include stealth, as you can see from this section, as well as combat. He's a formidable fighter. He lives in ancient Egypt at a time of great upheaval. A new emperor has taken over, a new pharaoh, but he's a young, feckless, ineffectual man who is easily dominated by evil men. His sister, Cleopatra, is a different kettle of fish. She's somebody who is widely admired and seen as proper and fitting as the next pharaoh. The country is in a kind of disarray. The pharaohs, the ruling classes, are Greeks, the people are Egyptians, and they're pretty pissed off with the way they've been treated for the past two or three centuries. To complicate matters, there's a new force in town, the Roman Empire, which will be showing up in this game to make matters difficult for the Egyptians. And so Bayek takes on a series of quests or missions which will undermine the rule of Ptolemy and will bring about what he thinks will be a more just era. Then again, he has his own personal reasons for taking care of business and he has personal relationships which we explore as the single player campaign continues. So let's talk about what's going on in this video. It takes place in the early part of the game, a time when you're just kind of building up your skills and your character abilities before you start taking down some of the more difficult missions. In this mission, Bayek has been sent into a soldier's camp to release some men who've been captured. This is the sort of quest you'll see a lot of in this Assassin's Creed game. There's a great deal of sneaking around soldier encampments and releasing people or finding goods or saving animals or whatever it is that you're given to do. It's the central point of the game and in fact Assassin's Creed games are all kind of like this. They're all about infiltrating a certain area, trying not to be seen and extracting whatever gizmo needs to be taken away. And there's nothing wrong with that, I enjoy a good stealth game. And in fact, this is quite a challenging game if you like stealth. The soldiers will see you if you reveal yourself uh, in any form or for any duration of time. They don't mess around either, they'll come charging over, they'll light up the brazier, they'll call out to their friends. And although you are strong and powerful and you become more strong and powerful as the game goes on, generally speaking, if you get into a fight with five or six uh, soldiers, then you're onto a loser. And you'll see later on in this section uh, a period where I'm uh, just trotting along the road when two caravans of soldiers of three uh, military men each spot me and attack me and there's really no way that I can get through that on my own. That said, there are some pretty great weapons that come along later in the game which allow you to take out weaker enemies without too much disturbance. But I will go back to my original point that up against large numbers of soldiers and enemies you really don't have that much of an opportunity and it's a good thing that you can sneak away and recover your health and try again from a different angle. And here you see my mount which is a camel. You might have noticed earlier on that I whistled 
uh, and the camel came onto the scene of action. That was actually a mistake of mine. You can whistle gently in order to attract the attention of the soldiers and lure them into a spot where you can take them out or you can whistle for a longer period of time and your mount will come along and in that case I did the wrong thing luckily it didn't make too much of a difference to uh, the the combat the soldiers seemed to ignore a camel just roaming around minding its own business just a little bit of housekeeping before we go on this video is a pre-review uh, the embargo that Ubisoft have uh, insisted on drops in a couple of days and as I said before in the early hours of Thursday morning and at that point I'll be giving a more thorough critique of the game. At this point I just want to talk generally speaking about what goes on in the game, what I experienced when I played it and really just how it pans out. And here's something else that the game spends a lot of time doing which is traveling from one place to another. It's a good thing that this is as you can probably tell for yourself a very good looking world. So this footage by the way is 4K Xbox One X footage. I don't have anything for any consoles that are currently available. But yes, you get to see this pretty world of ancient Egypt with all its colour, its strange architecture, its strange art, its people, its animals and you can really just get on the back of a horse or a camel and explore this this whole land. Having said that, there are kind of restrictions on this open worldness. Although I can in theory go anywhere in the game, there are certain sections, or each section is kind of demarked by difficulty. And they're like they're like levels, really. So that if I was to just wander off into a desert marked to 35 or 40 level while I'm a 3, 4 or 5 level, then I'm going to find myself in trouble whenever I come across anybody who doesn't like me. For example, there are hyenas which are pretty easy to kill if they're on the same level as you or a couple of levels above you. But if they're 10 levels above you, then one or two of them are going to uh, kill you, which is no fun at all because if they see you, they will attack you. And the same goes for foreign soldiers. As you can see here, the guards have recognized me as a person of interest and they've attacked me. I don't have enough of power to fend them off. And so I'm gonna have to find a way to get away from them. The whole country is crisscrossed by these little caravans uh, of three, four, five soldiers who are shipping goods from one place to another. And Bayek needs some of those goods in order to upgrade his equipment. So as the game progresses, there are certain resources that he needs. And some of them he can just go out and find in the wild. And so there are sections where you're taking out or you're, you're shooting, you're hunting deer or crocodiles or hippos and there are others where you're basically hunting men you're going after these caravans and you're trying to take them out in order to steal the money or the resources that they're carrying because those resources you can use to craft your equipment and to improve it vastly and so if you want to have a big quiver to carry it sounded like a euphemism. If you wanted to have a quiver that can carry lots of arrows, then you're going to need to do some crafting. If you want your shield to be really up to snuff, you're going to have to do some crafting. And I enjoyed that aspect of the game, just, just sort of between the, uh, the missions, just hanging out in the countryside somewhere and hunting things. Where is his son? She lies here with her son and daughter. The entire family? Sadly. I see Terra Moon also paid the price for his recklessness. I warned him that his rebelliousness would bring torment and suffering. But what happened? They saw the soldiers coming and hid in the cellar. But the soldiers burnt the house to the ground to teach everyone a lesson. Ah, I am sorry. Put the body down there. They will journey to the Duat together. So many deaths in the Wahat. We cannot give them a proper burial. It is not your rebelliousness that got you killed, Seni. It is Ptolemy's sick regime. He is a bad pharaoh. Find peace, Teremun. He will find more than he had here. So that was just the end of that quest.
quest there and another quest is something that I'll be looking for. You can see here some of the back screens such as the upgrade screen and the upgrade screen each time you reach a certain level or if you complete certain tasks then you're given an extra ability and these are generally split between uh, combat or melee combat and uh, defensive uh, defensive moves or running and uh, range combat so it's just using your bow and your arrow and there are other abilities which we'll explore later on in this video Bayek! It does my heart good to have you again in Siwa. You now send her back to health. I never expected to see her again. She is a tough old bird. Like you, eh? <laughs> Bayek. Epsifa tells me you are healing the villagers as best you can. It would give me much pleasure to help you. That is kind of you. May your car be blessed. I can always use help. The soldiers are brutes. Almost every villager has cuts, bruises, broken bones. To help them, I put together a makeshift perank in the old ruined temple. Friends bring me medicine from Yamu, but now the soldiers stop everyone entering the village and steal their goods. So, we try to bring medicine on a boat instead. And the soldiers stopped that also? They sank the last shipment. The medicine jars are scattered across the bottom of the lake. I will get them for you. Thank you, Bayek. Bring it to the old temple. I must go there now. The medicine could be anywhere in this lake. Senu can help me. So you'll see here another useful skill that Bayek has, which is Eagle Vision, something that we've seen before in Assassin's Creed games, but this time it's an actual real eagle. The eagle soars above and you use it in order to scope out the targets. Uh, helpfully, the focus will sharpen as you get closer and closer to the target, but also to look out for guards. And so you can use the eagle to spot the guards. And once the guards are marked, so to speak, then you're basically able to follow them wherever they go, which is essential if you want to stay alive. This section will also include swimming when you go down into the water to look for the missing medicine jars and other loot and also how to make use of boats. And in this game, there is a lot of stuff that goes on in and on the water, as you'd expect in a country like Egypt, which is so dominated by its rivers. All this loot that you see is obviously very useful as the game goes on, you can go as you'll see later, to a blacksmith and he will sell you items and goods. So if you want to buy new weapons, that's where you need to go. But really what you'll probably end up spending your money on is just simply upgrading the weapons that you have, the weapons that you feel most comfortable with. And I played most of the game using the exact same sword that I play here in the early part. I just kept upgrading it every time I upgraded. And that really will fulfill most of your needs unless you feel like playing around with different weapons like twin blades and spears I will return it later there's also as I said before use of boats in this case and you can in this game and you can commandeer small fishing boats you can just jump into little rafts that lie around um, but there are bigger boats like triremes which you can uh, invade so to speak or that you actually get to commandeer and use yourself from time to time Right, this 
position good at? the patients in the temple ruins the soldiers threw us out even though I paid the nomarch to allow me to use the temple every few weeks soldiers come to take our medicine and food stocks always the same soldiers they call it a tribute a tax for the Pharaoh's royal army we barely have what's needed to take care of the poor souls that need our help vultures don't worry Rabia I will make certain they don't bother you anymore be careful Bayek so you saw there the woman who is a quest giver and in this large world you'll get to meet quite a lot of different characters who either want something from you or who you might be able to get something from yourself uh, so this is a pretty wide and varied world of characters and some of them are quite amusing and some of them are very sad this next section is a classic Assassin's Creed infiltration mission in which I have to go in and basically do as much damage as I can to the soldiers on this base. These soldiers have been harassing and bothering the local populace. And as you'll see as I work my way through it, there are a lot of dead ends. Trying to find the right way in, trying to find a way to get in without being discovered, trying to take out as many of the bad guys as I can so that if I am discovered, then obviously there are fewer of them to have to deal with. And it's a good idea to sort of sectionalize each of these castles because if you can keep a battle uh, kind of confined to one corner of a castle, then you don't have to worry too much about the whole castle coming or even worse uh, about the castle uh, raising the alarm and bringing in soldiers from elsewhere. And there are special kinds of soldiers who are kind of bounty hunters who will uh, respond to these alarms, who will come in on the site, and if they see you, they are gonna cause immense damage to you, and they're very, very difficult, if not impossible, to kill, certainly at this lower level of the game. Assassin's Creed Origins will be out later this week. Polygon's review will be available in the early hours of Thursday morning. The game is coming out for Windows PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. I'm going to let the rest of the video just run so that you can enjoy the video without having to listen to me talk. Especially this section here where you can kind of sense for yourself the sort of strategies that you might use in order to take out or in order to complete this particular mission and the couple of missions that follow. Anyway, you can find out more about Assassin's Creed Origins on Polygon.
The temple is yours now. Those soldiers won't bother you again. All my patience, thank you. Ah, I almost forgot to give you your medicines from the sunken boat. <laughs> In all the excitement, I forgot about them myself. The oasis of Siwa is lucky to have you, Rabia. <laughs> Promise me you will not become consumed with your vengeance, Bayak. I think of nothing else. By the grace of Amun. One day, I will be free of it. My position, Gere. Take care! Siwa is a dangerous place. Ooh. Bayek! Our Magi! You're back! What happened to your blacksmith shop? Those naked yadat soldiers. Ptolemy's captain saw me making a sword and accused me of being a rebel. He was not wrong. They confiscated my tools. Ah, bastards. All of Siwa needs a blacksmith. Even me. I cannot help you, Bayek. Not until I get my hammer and tongs back. And I have to get that ugly-ass Apap captain off my ass. Is this captain with the tools somewhere I can find him? At the foot of the hills west of here. Camp Shetje. I will get those tools back. And I will take care of the captain. Benipe said the tools are in Camp Shetje. And the captain who is behind this, he's in Camp Shetje as well. Oh. 
Tools. That's everything. Benipe will be pleased to hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 